Hello design portfolio students, I hope you're doing really really well through this really really weird time. Um, as you've read on Schoology some of my posts, uh, I've talked about um, in lieu of us missing our art show, uh, which was kind of the main event for all of the hard work that you were working on throughout the whole year, uh, we are going to replace that art exhibition with a virtual one. You have two different options. I've done a lot of research online and talked to some other art teachers within around the country and found two pretty decent, um, actually two really cool uh, different options for you. Uh, option one is going to be using Google Slides to produce this virtual gallery. Uh, using Google Slides it's a lot easier, um, a little bit more straightforward. If you've ever put together like a PowerPoint presentation um, you'll kind of get the gist very quickly and easily. Um, so I would suggest option one for someone that wants kind of the easy way out. Um, option two is going to be a lot more dynamic, way more advanced, really, really cool, more of a virtual experience where you can create something where someone actually kind of virtually walks around. Um, uh, that's going to be option two, and I'll do a separate presentation for that. So to get started creating a virtual art gallery uh, using Google Slides, you are going to want to download this template, okay? This template I've provided for you on Schoology, and you're just gonna make a copy of this. Um, this template, to be 100% honest, I found online uh, from a guy named Adam Cross on, on YouTube, so thank you for providing this template, and kind of gonna go through the same steps that, that he did to guide us through how to do this. Uh, Looking on the left side of Google Slides, you'll see a little thumbnail icon for each one of the slides, okay? You've got your, your title slide, and then you've got three room slides that show us images within an art gallery, and then the last two are gonna be description slides. And I'll walk us through this. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go onto the title slide and put your name. Who is this for? This is my example. Um, on this page, you can add images, you can change color, you can change font sizes, you can do whatever you want to customize this to make it look the way you want. Uh, now we have our room, okay? To start with our room, we are going to just be using this far wall that's very, very small on this kind of blank, um, blank gallery. To insert an image, you can go to insert, go to image, upload it from computer. That's kind of the longer way to do it. Uh, you have this small thumbnail here, and then upload from computer. So I guess the very first step is going to be before this, before you even get to Google Slides, you're going to want to have images of all of your artwork organized and cropped and edited um, in a folder so you can easily access those. And then once you have that done, then you can come to this Google Slides. Upload this. Uh, let's just pick an image here. Here's an acrylic painting that I did last summer. And then you're going to make it really, really small. And you're going to place it on that back wall. You can organize it however you want. Now the back walls are fairly far away, so your image is kind of small. Um, and that's what's going to give it that art exhibition feel. I would suggest not putting too many on one wall. There we go. So it is really small. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slide down here that's going to show this image enlarged. And to do that, I'm just going to copy it. So edit, copy, or command C, then go to this slide, paste that, make it larger, position it however you want. Since this is a kind of a large horizontal painting, I'm going to kind of place that in the bottom there. And then this is the slide that you're going to use to explain to your audience more about that work. And you can move this. I'm going to place this up top. Um, this is the place where you would put uh, maybe this, the, the medium that you made it. Okay, so this was an acrylic painting. Uh, the size, this painting size is about 18 inches tall by 32 inches wide. Uh, what's the title? This one I called Mountain House. I found this little aspen grove with small little uh, birdhouse there that 
I thought it'd be kind of cool to be a bird living in this little aspen grove, so I called it Mountain House. And then I can also talk about why, you know, why I did this, what inspired me to do this, what were the feelings I got when I was there. As much information you can put on the slide, the better um, for your virtual visitors. Once you're done with that, then you go back and you keep adding. So I would go to the next thing, up and um, having a temporary internet issue, I believe. Um, there you go. Just kind of slow, slow down. I got a lot of people working at home right now. Um, then I would just grab another image. Place it on that wall. This one's a really old acrylic painting I did when I was teaching drawing and painting one back in the day. And I can place that back there. Move this around just a little bit. Okay, Command C to copy that. Go to my next slide. Command V to paste it. Make it enlar enlarged. And then I would write about it here again. Okay. You want to keep this going. You want to continue to grow this. Uh, you might need more space in your gallery. And if you need more space in your gallery, just select that middle room. Go edit. Or sorry, right click. Duplicate slide. And that will add and expand your art gallery room. Same thing down here. If we want to take this, I'm just going to delete this for the moment. I want to right click. Duplicate this slide, and that way I've got more and more slides to work with. You know, you're gonna end up having a slideshow that's probably about 40, 40 slides long, if not more. Um, other things you can do. Let's say you don't like the image of this room. Well, you can actually get rid of this image. All it is is a, a gallery image in the background, and you can find your own blank backdrop if you would like. So here's a, an image I got online. Stretch that across. And maybe I have that set up for my background. Um, you notice I lost the previous and the next uh, little arrow, so I want to arrange that. Let's select that image, go to Arrange, Order, send that to the back. Now I can see previous room and next room. Those are really important. In my next video, we're going to show how to make those into links that are going to go to other places. Um, you know, but now maybe you like the looks of this better. And maybe you use rooms that have a different image, and that's totally up to you. You know, maybe that looks a little bit better because you can see it closer. Um, I would copy that, go down here, paste it, make it bigger, and so on and so forth. You guys are all smart kids. You can figure this stuff out. Um, you know, in a nutshell, what are we doing? Downloading this template, changing it, modifying it, adding your work, and then adding slides that are going to be kind of your detail slides down here. And then we can move on to the next part. That's it. That's all.